Those chargers run about two to four hundred dollars. The high voltage. Nope. Sure. Delivered for uh, and converted for uh, about fifty dollars. Oh, wow. oh, okay. So you've con I see that it's converted. an LED charger, and oh. I wired it up. What I'm using is I'm using the back of the mat, so that way I got a nice rubber work, work surface to work on. Don't have to worry about metal things touching. This is the plug. I've got different plugs because you can put a plug on it and wire it out. Mm -hmm. Then you never got to take the cover off. All right. Taking the cover off is no big deal, but it's nice having the actual plug that I use here for my other vehicles. You just plug in and charge. You tie into these with these. And that plug, the second one in on the bottom. Okay, now that holds it because it's spring loaded. This one here, a little big. We're going to use this one here for the black. That one here, you look over here, it's the second one in on the bottom. By the way, I'm holding it. And that's in. And this here, we're going to hold this over here. We're going to make sure they don't touch. We have plug there, extra needle. And we are going to go ahead and put the plug in here because we don't really need to touch that anymore. Okay. Don't touch those wires where this plug's turned in. Put it in at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock. Turn it to 9 o'clock. And they should be live. Let's see, it was two weeks ago when we checked it with first scan. It was at 292 something. Let's see where it is now. It's probably uh, quite a bit lower. 270, I bet. 289. Didn't drop much at all, but it's still below starting voltage. Which is the starting voltage is? Uh, bare minimum, they say is 300, but the closest I've seen is 305, but a high BSOC, which uh, the lower the lower the voltage, the higher BSOC. It all depends on what state of charge the battery was in when it went down, how well it was charged. It just verified continuity there, positive with the red. I know I got my plug made out properly. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. <coughs> In just a second, I'm going to go ahead and connect the charger. We're going to verify it with Forescan. Oh, we did not connect this again, but we can do that while it's charging, technically. We can go ahead and put this in. The 10 millimeter, and then the one over there in the back seat. So that way, when we're ready, we just go ahead and start it up. Mm. So this go back underneath here now very carefully and as you're putting it in the handle's got to be up push in nice and even and this handle should come down and be pulled in at the same time and this has got to pop there you go so we're all connected there uh, the 10 millimeter I had where'd it go there you go Go ahead and tighten that one up. And I will go ahead and connect this. And then we'll plug it in as soon as I get the first scan going here. And we're going to play. We're at 288 and zero BSOC right up top here. Okay, so we'd probably want to get it about 342, and that'll probably bring us up anywhere between 5 and 17%. Ideally, you'd leave it up until it was charged up to 350 and 50% BSOC. But that's such a low amp charge, it would take forever. Mm. But it will bring it up high enough, quick enough, to where we can start the vehicle. So we can leave the key on because... The charger is on the battery. So now as soon as we plug this in, it's going to go boom. And then we go up and watch BSOC while it's charging in the voltage. Immediately jumped up to 291, 292. It's climbing. We got about 1% uh, every 5 to 6 seconds. So we're going to have a minimum of probably, and it'll slow down after a little bit. It's going to probably a good uh, 
15, 15 minutes maybe. So we can turn it off till then and we can keep putting the battery back together or you can keep filming. However you want to do it. We got all those bolts. We're not going to worry about the cover. We're just going to do the 9 in front. Uh, I'll double check the 10 millimeter. We can do the 4 back here. We can put the vent. Push it right back up on 